Ah, this is brilliant. You know, Steamer, I like having you around here, although it's unfortunate that you're only here for a short period of time. Honestly, though, you're some of the best company that I've had in years. Thanks, Duke. Man, although there has been some troubles at this place, we still keep joyful. Yes, I agree. I am curious to find out who is responsible for stealing all these trucks just to make themselves look like they're the best engine around here. Hey, you don't think it could be that new number two engine? I forgot his name, but he seems... like... well, kind of unpleasant. Honestly, I have no idea, but I'll be sure to ask him when he shows his face. Hey, the railway hasn't got time for you two to be playing with each other all day. Now go get some work done. Oh, get lost, Smudger. All you ever do is make the situation worse. Look who's talking. The railway will get worse if you two turds just sit around here all day doing nothing. Ah, oh, excuse me there, young'un. What did you just say? Well, pardon me, young'un. I was just going to ask you politely if you knew anything about the whereabouts of the missing trucks, or if you knew anything about them at all. Are you accusing me of stealing supplies for other companies? Do you know what we did to engines like you in the war? Wouldn't be anything here that I haven't seen before, big guy. <laughs> Are you sure about that, Granddad? Hey, punk. Stay out of this and go deliver your stuff. I don't want to have to sort you out as well. Ooh, look at the slime ball acting all tough. Shut up. You're both acting like a stupid pair of children. Shove off, you mangy varmint. I'm out of here. Smudger, you better go back to work right now before the manager gets annoyed. You know what, Duke? If you wasn't such an old fart, I'd shove that tender behind you. <laughs> oh, that's going to cause confusion and delay. <laughs> This place is doing my boiler in. Everyone is just going around judging on who they like. Hello there, smudger. What do you want, Albert? Oh, well, I was just passing and saw you looking a bit uptight. So, what's the matter with you? This bloody duke, he's just going around and complaining about an engine apparently trying to look like the best on the railway, stealing trucks and taking them to random places to make it look like they have delivered the goods when the wrong stuff is being delivered to the wrong places, causing confusion and delay. And then he accused me at one point, so I was like, I ain't interested about being the best, I just want to enjoy working. Oh really? You know, I'm not the one to gossip, but if I had to choose a suspect, it would definitely be Stanley. Yeah, well, even if it is, no one doesn't have any proof. That may be true, but I do have a theory. What are you talking about? Well, you see, Stanley derails a lot, right? I wonder why that is. I don't know, is he wrong in the wheels as well as his head? I don't think so myself, but any engine that stole goods trains would not allow themselves to derail and get cut up, though I reckon he's using reverse psychology and making lies up every time he comes off the rails to make it look like he hasn't stolen them trucks. Look, I understand, but that's all speculation to the manager. I don't know, but if you think about it and put two and two together, it seems kind of fishy, don't you think? Anyways, I got a passenger train to pull. I'll see you around, smudger. They still say the flatbed truck is still around the quarry, haunting the engines in revenge for his accident. Resulting him being torn apart that dreadful night. Ha ha ha, are you serious? If you're gonna make a scary story, at least make it believable. No one has ever talked about a flatbed ghost truck around here. Hey, it's just for fun. So do you have any spooky stories to tell? Well, I have one. But it's a real one. Let's hear it. I bet it won't scare me, ha <laughs> ha. Well, before I worked here, the railway I was at was very small. 
so most of the talk was about the much bigger one not far from it. I didn't know much of the engines there, but the one I heard most about was a blacksmith engine. People called him the Masked Engine because he wore a mask to protect his face from flying sparks. He loved his job. It was his dream and he did it perfectly. He was the manager's favorite engine, but the other engines didn't like this. They thought he made them look stupid. They were jealous. They would often call him names and be rude to him, but he wouldn't let this bother him. He always carried on with his work, until one day, the other engines went too far. They tried to pull a prank on him, which resulted his shed being caught on fire, and the blacksmith engine was tragically burned and killed in the accident. The other engines didn't want to get in trouble for it, so they blamed him, and the manager believed him. He was ashamed of the engine and sent his body for scrap that night. But the driver of the dead engine was filled with rage from the manager believing the bully engines. He took the engine's body somewhere and disappeared. People believe that he went to the UK because nothing was heard or seen from them ever since. Until about a month later, some trucks were in a siding and they heard the bully engines and their drivers in the sheds. It was pretty foggy that night so they couldn't see the shed doors. The engines and their drivers were telling jokes to each other and listening to music until the laughter was quickly stopped by. They thought it was an animal or something, so one of them went to go scare it off. But what they didn't know is what was on the other side of those doors wasn't going to be scared off. As the shed doors opened, the mist started to clear. It wasn't the blacksmith engine. Well, at least not anymore. What was there was a vengeful, modified, and undead engine, with eyes described by the trucks, more evil than the devil himself. With the manager's ripped off head attached to his buffer, all the trucks could do was watch the masked engine charge into the sheds and see their blood and intestines splatter all over the windows and hear the screams of the engines and the drivers being finished off by being burned alive with his flamethrower. <laughs> said, did I? Um, it was- <laughs> Good job there, buddy. Thanks! We got them good, didn't we? We did, indeed. Now that they are gone, it's time to take these trucks to the railway, and they will love me, and make me the new number two after Stanley has put out of business for his rough writing. Christ's sake, Stanley, you have caused nothing but accidents ever since you got here. Listen, bud. In the States, we don't care a dime for a few spills. We do here. <laughs> don't you laugh at me, young'un. If you carry on like this, things will end very bad for you. Yeah, well, I have a lot of chances left. You, however, are probably one accident away from being sent to the scrapyard. Right. I am going to put you on a boat back to the wars myself if I have to, you stupid little child. Well, well, well. I should have known. No wonder you tried to frame Stanley for all this. Those trucks are not scheduled to go anywhere. What are you talking about, Smudger? This is my goods train that the manager told me to the- Don't you even try that crap with me. Steamer saw you earlier and told me the whole thing. That little punk. 
Wait till I get my buffers on him for telling lies about me. Good luck with that. Remember, he was only here for a few days to help out. He's off to another railway today. Oh, well, then I better get this goods train delivered. We don't want the manager angry at you for delaying it. Now get out of my way. No. You don't want to mess with me, slimeball. Oh, I think that's exactly what I want to do. All right. So you want to fight? Okay, then. Let's fight. Listen, here, Jack. Time to play by the rules. Never mess with this railway. There are good engines here. Ugh, I'm not messing with anything. You were always a dumb engine. Your stupid-looking paint job shows that. Wh what did you just say to me? Yeah, you heard me. You are just jealous. I bet you would love to be a well-respected engine like me. Steamroller wheels ain't my style. Oh, oh, my boiler! This really hurts! Hello, Smudger. Don't worry, I heard the whole thing. It looks like I misjudged you, but good job nonetheless. Now... Let's go take Albert back to the manager. He's going to be very happy to hear about this for sure. You won't get away with this! Really, Albert? Making threats when you're defeated? Looks like you've gone off the rails. <laughs> Well, Albert, it's time to go. I've got to say, I'm very disappointed. I thought you were one of the best engines here. Oh, how wrong I was. You are all going to regret this! I promise you! I don't care how long it takes. When you expect it, I will be there! And that will result in your demise! You would have to go through me first to accomplish that. Now, take him away, Bertram. Well done, Smudger. You are a very useful engine. I am sorry about our little feud from before. I hope from now on we can be very good friends. Thank you, Duke. And sure, why not? You seem like a nice engine anyway, even though you can be a miserable old sod sometimes. <laughs> anyway, Steamer, it's sad to see you go. But you did a fantastic job serving here. It truly was an honour to have you around. Thanks, Duke. I am going to miss you both. Hopefully we can cross paths again one day. I'd love that. Maybe we can go solve some more crimes together. Like going after diesels that hate steam engines for no reason. They caught the suspect of the incident, and now they're laughing about it? After they all constantly accuse me? I could have been taken away from something I didn't even do! Uh, traitors! All of them! They are the enemies! They must be taken out, starring with him! Uh, driver, I need you to take me somewhere tonight. Let's go somewhere secret so I can tell you the details. I really like this railway. The engines are very kind, and I love this new paint job they gave me while I was here. Anyway, time to get back to the shed and get some sleep. Right, driver. He should be here soon. Go do your thing. Hey, manager. Isn't there supposed to be 50 metal rods in here? Yes, of course. Why? I've only counted 46. Hmm. Let's go ask the others. Hey, guys. Sorry for waking you up. Do you know about any metal rods going missing? No, sir. The trucks were untouched when they got here. Yes, sir. I can back Smudger up with that. I was there with him. Okay, then. Wait a minute. Where is Stanley? All right, it's all set. Good man. Now don't go feeling bad about this neither. It's for the greater good. I honestly don't care what happens to him. I could have lost my job over their stupidity. 
Well, he couldn't have gone far. It is night time. He might be late running back or something. At least we can get some peace and quiet. Oh well. Sorry to bother you two. Get some rest, guys. Good night. You too, manager. I'm sure there isn't anything to worry about. He can't be doing anything that bad. The moon was full, and the mists were rising around the old iron bridge. Hang on a minute, I can see something on the tracks ahead of me. It looks like an engine. Nice paint job you got there. At least it goes well with your EXECUTION! Wait, no! Help! Come on, let's go, go, go! Hello again, Steamer. Spotcher? Yes, it's me. I have tried for so many years to find you here. This is the only place I came to apart from the Mid-Sodal Railway. Once I accidentally scared away a yellow engine crossing this bridge looking for you. Anyway, I have broken the barrier stopping you from crossing the bridge. Come with me, and I will get you your life back.
Uh, the job is kind of boring when no one needs assistance. Maybe I can play some games or something. Although, I don't want to be caught doing that bizarre stuff always seem to happen when you at least expect it. Maybe I might get some shut-eye, considering everyone else is most likely doing that too. <laughs> Emergency! This is the chief mate of the SS Luxor speaking. The ship has struck land and it is in danger of sinking. Everyone get up to the deck immediately! Oh no! I need to get everyone out of bed quickly! There is no time to waste! It's you! No! Please! No! Don't do it! 